Good morning. It's a new day and the most exciting package came today. It's sitting right there. It's gonna go right there. That's the side table that I found for the living room. I'm so excited. I'm going to go set it up right now. We just got it delivered and my meeting just got canceled. So we love that for us. Now we have all the time. I can take my time setting it up. So let's get this set up. love her so much. I like it much more than I thought. A few of the photos online like with the reviews and everything the colors were kind of off but I think I got a good one. Of course some pieces are real wood I think oh, but it's so cute. The drawer is so smooth. It's not soft clothes but it's fine. I love it so much. It's perfect. It took me forever to order this like it's been in my cart for months but i'm glad i pulled the trigger and let me set it up and show you the finished product hello everyone i do need to put together a basket here for one of my husband's co-workers his wife they just had a baby so went to tj maxx and got a few things they have a lot of cute like newborn items so i got a few things from there and i found this super cute basket look at that it's so cute i want it for myself but i have nowhere to put it there was another like white one that i found but i thought it was too much for a nursery and i don't know her nursery vibe so i just got this so she can use it around the house or reuse it for i don't know another basket or i don't know whatever but anyway i got a few things i got these five pack of bibs. I love these bibs for my son, so I got a few for her. She had a girl, by the way. And then I got a two-piece onesie, and I got the zipper. There are so many with buttons, but from experience, you don't want those buttons when you're changing, especially in the middle of the night, changing diapers. You don't want to button up like every single one it's gonna take forever so zip ups are the way to go and especially the two-way zippers this one zips from the bottom and from the top so i love this when my son was a newborn so i did get three months because you know some babies they just don't fit newborn or the zero to three months they're just like big babies so i don't know how big this baby is she literally just gave birth and i don't i've never met her i just i don't know um my husband just wanted to do something nice for his co-worker so i went and got a few things and this is so cute i love shopping for girls girl stuff are always so cute so i did find this um headpiece like set you know those bows that you put on little baby girls but i don't know her like style or whatever so i figured i'd just go the safe route and get like practical stuff that she could use and then i just got a cute little like two-piece blanket and stuffed animal i don't know like all that she has especially because i haven't seen her like registry or whatnot so i didn't want to duplicate any like bottles or some parents are very particular about what type of bottles and stuff they're giving to their kids because i know i was so i didn't want to go that route so i just got things that she could use practical things so i'm gonna put this in the basket and i also got a book so I got one of these books, super cute. Just a simple book she could read to her daughter at night or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just a cute little book that has animals and just something sweet. So yeah, got those and then I'm just gonna stuff it in this basket and then give it to my husband to give to his coworker whenever he returns from work. Which is probably why it's a good thing to get three months because I don't know when he's gonna get him this basket, so yeah. Let's get to it. So here's a basket. You don't have to go crazy with these things. It's just something cute and thoughtful that you could do for someone who just had a baby or, you know, any get well baskets, 
blue baskets coming up and just it's the thought that counts so I got practical things that she could use and hopefully no duplicates especially with like the book and whatnot so yeah super cute I forgot about all the Trader Joe's food items that I got so I want to try this gnocchi um, and gorgonzola cheese I will give you a review but I tried the um, ravioli one did not like that I, I don't know it was just a little bland for me I wish there was more to it but I literally have nothing to eat right now because everything I want requires soy sauce which we don't have and I don't want to bring my son out to the store because it's been raining so I'm gonna try this and let you know how I like it here's how it looks right out of the bag it's frozen but all the cheesy goodness it's amazing it looks so yummy I'm gonna top it with some pepper flakes of course have to I love spice and I love a lot of spice so and then I'm also gonna put a little parsley over it just I don't know so that's lunch I'm so excited to eat this I hope it's as good as it looks so I just finished my lunch and I give it a 8.5 out of 10. I love cheese and it was absolutely deliciously cheesy. I like the texture actually. It's very like chewy. It's kind of like I've never had gnocchi before so I was surprised to see that it was that chewy but I really like that. So yeah 8.5. Really liked it. I have another one, another flavor. It's just tomato sauce and tomato sauce, so I figure it's just like a spaghetti. But that will be my next trial run with Noiki and the different flavors. But so far, I really like that one. So I will repurchase that again on our next Trader Joe's trip. I need to go and get more of the chicken soup dumplings because that is so good. So, 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 so good with the um, crispy garlic onion. Oh my God, it's so good so freaking good i know they sell like this at the asian store but i've tried these uh, different variations of this and this one is the best my husband loves it so much he finished one whole freaking bottle i bought four and he finished one already this is almost empty so i really only use it with the chicken soup dumplings but my husband puts it on everything and he loves it so that says a lot because he's also He's not like picky about it, but it takes a lot for him to like something so much that he'll like finish a whole thing. So highly recommend this on your next Trader Joe's trip. So I need to go get more of this because we're down to two bottles from four. So today, what I really want to do, it's the beginning of October. I want to start, I know I decorated for fall, but I want to decorate for Halloween. I never used to decorate for Halloween, but now that I have my son, I'm more inclined to. I started to do some last year, so I kind of want to do something similar. So let's get to the decor. So I have all the stuff here. I got just a few new things this year, but I do want to reuse a lot of what I had from last year. So um, I have these candle holders from these are from hobby lobby i know there's a more high-end one that you can get but this was half off i think i got all of it for like 30 dollars all three sizes and what a steal i have these two other candle holders i spray painted this black it was i think like gold but it was like a yellow gold color i actually thrifted these so I just spray painted it black and then decided to use it for Halloween. And then I got this cute little skeleton from Walmart. It was only $3. It is a 16 inch skeleton and I thought I'd just like seat him somewhere, somewhere around the house. Um, I do have this black netting, like spiderweb vibe netting. I don't know where I want to put this yet because my furniture is black, like the console tables and all that they're all black so i my son wants to play with the skeleton <laughs> and you're welcome okay so and then i got these cute cool bleeding tapered candles i got it from target and i thought it <laughs> i thought it only came in a pack of two and i was worried because i want to stick them on this 
but it's a pack of six for ten dollars so i thought that was a good deal and they're bleeding candles so they when you light them up they wax the wax will drip red <laughs> i thought that was a cool feature <laughs> is that a funny skeleton uh. i didn't save my bats from last year i don't know what happened to them but i have these and they come in all different sizes so I stuck these everywhere last year. <laughs> it was so fun. Um, not so fun at the front door because I used, I'm an idiot, and I used the wrong <laughs> adhesive, like tape, double-sided tape. So I learned from last year, I will use a better <laughs> tape so we don't, it doesn't need like sticky residue or peel our paint off. And then I have these witch hats that I did save. I was debating or not whether I wanted to save them or not, but I thought it was a, I think I got eight for how many is it? yeah eight eight for eight it was like a dollar each on amazon so i'll link all this stuff i got majority of these stuff from amazon yeah let's get started so i'm gonna start in here i'm gonna clear off the table and everything Whatever you do, do not use the sticky tapes that come with these bats. That is what left all the freaking residue on my front door. And I just had to paint over it and pretend like nothing happened. But yes, it left all the marks on my front door. So I'm just going to go with just regular scotch tape. Anyway, I still have some a roll of this balloon tape that I used from my son's birthday that held up the balloons really well and like the whole balloon arch were just held by these these little adhesive circles so i think they will the bats will do fine um being held by these so i'm glad i kept this and i i'll probably start with putting up the bats because i want to stick them literally everywhere <laughs> the only thing is that takes like time with these is that you have to bend them to shape them so they can look like 3d on the wall um that's the only thing like you just gotta do that just two two folds and then they will give it they'll give it some shape wow. and these are so like these adhesive circles are so easy to wow. use so I just tested it. I stuck it on the wall and just took it right off and it didn't leave any residue or rip the paint off. So I highly suggest this um, balloon tape. I don't know. It came with the balloon arch I got on Amazon. I'm sure they sell it separately. But if you're looking for adhesive to use on these bats, then that's the way to go. it was a fail last night because I did put it up and I guess I needed to wrap uh, the type of tape I use it's a double-sided tape but I guess I needed to wrap it twice because they all fell <laughs> so I this was my second attempt but I love it so much so yeah that's the update for now so I think that's gonna wrap up my Halloween decor I don't want to do too much again so I think it's cute. It's I added some cute touches and my son seems to be really enjoying it, especially the skeleton. I do have a life-size skeleton, like a five foot, my life-size, um, that I want to put and seat him outside on the chair. 
um, in the front porch. So that's the only other thing that I'm gonna do, but that's for later. I think it's in the attic, so I need my husband to get that down. And I also want to bake some cookies or banana bread because I have some banana that's been sitting that um, my son loves banana but he didn't go through all of them and they're becoming to that point where it's good to make banana bread but I'm also not craving that I want cookies and my mother-in-law when she was here she made these like toffee chocolate chip cookies and they were to die for so I want to recreate it um, I found a recipe and got all the ingredients for that, so I think I wanna make that. But I also have my favorite cookies in the world. I have been waiting for these cookies to come into our store. They only had the ghost ones. I found it at Walmart. I thought I saw that they had the pumpkin ones at Harris Teeter, and I went the other day to look for it, but I couldn't find it. It might have been in a different aisle than where they store their regular cookies that they sell year round, but these found these and these are so good I am such a plain cookie lover like I don't like a lot of stuff in my cookies even with like chocolate chip cookies I don't care for semi-sweet I like milk chocolate just that's why I like crumble cookies because they use milk chocolate so that's what I got for the toffee nut chocolate chip cookies so I can always make this this these are so literally you just throw it in a cookie sheet and bake it but I'm kind of feeling some mixing and making of homemade cookies.